intelligence, kindness, and uh, maybe a sense of humor. It needs to be nice. He has it to also needs to just have a respect for people. He has to have <laughs> at least a tolerable face. Honesty and patience. What is the secret to a happy marriage? I don't know. Pass. I have no idea. Communication. How often should couples have a date night? Couples should have a date night every other Friday. Exactly. Um, only on special occasions. I think they should have a date night once a week, but it doesn't have to be like at a restaurant. You can have a picnic in your backyard. What are some things that a husband or wife should do daily to show their love and affection? Just a little hug or something. Kiss them on the cheek. Normal things like, you know, saying good morning and saying good night. And maybe watching a movie together. Little things that relate to their love language. My mom's love language is gifts. When we go to the grocery store, even if that mom didn't ask for something, he'll just get her like yes. some chocolate or like we got her a dress to Walmart and he got mm -hmm. her a dress. At the grocery store? Well, no, at Walmart. At Walmart. Walmart. Usually, at Walmart. It's usually when we're getting groceries. What should a husband or wife do every day? What should a husband and a wife not do? Punch and kick. What advice would you give to a couple when they have an argument? If you come to a mutual agreement and gain at least a little knowledge, I don't consider it a complete waste of time. Maybe like, you should talk it over. Have a little alone time for um, a couple of minutes and then um, get back together and start apologizing. If a spouse gets sick, how should the other spouse care for them? Make some soup, make sure what her temperature is, let her take the water in. If they can't move, then you should probably not go to work. Treat their symptoms like a headache or throwing up, give them a like, bowl or something. What financial advice would you give for a healthy marriage? Try to ration your money to not buy stuff you don't need. What's a good parent do? If they have kids, kids they take care of the kids. Uh, examples of good parenting that I've seen um, are my own parents. Give us an example. <laughs> Should a parent stay at home to raise the children or continue working and use childcare? I think they should continue working and use childcare. If you are able to get off work, do it. But work is important to you, like it's your dream job or something. I think you could use childcare. 
I would say stay home, take care of them because you need to spend time with them. What parenting advice would you give? Spend as much time with your kids as possible. The parenting advice I would give is to show them that you love your kids regularly. You know, teach them that the good things they do have rewards and the bad things they do have consequences. Should the family get a pet? Yeah. Yes. the money? Go ahead. Yeah, but it's, it's like a mini therapist. They don't yeah. just sit there and listen to you. That's money you aren't even spending on a counselor. If you do get pets, start small, like a goldfish or something. How do you know when you found the one? When you feel it on the inside. You say, I love you, and it feels genuine. How can you split household chores between a husband and a wife? Make sure one has two chores and the other has the rest. Um, as it's got to be a team. As, yeah. as we had said before, you could try and do the team, but I'm sure the wife would do more than the husband. Husband takes out a husband the trash. heavy duty. That's true. Garbage, mow the lawn. If you see something that needs to get done, go ahead and do it. Household chores should be split to whoever is annoyed at it first. The husband should do the um, lawn. Um, once I get married, I can help my wife like, do the laundry. Who should do the dishes? Let me think. Think quick. Um, the wife, because um, that way both of them like have something to do.